Under the Federal Rules of Evidence, or FRE, hearsay evidence, which is an out-of-court statement that's offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted in the statement, is inadmissible. However, some statements that are hearsay may nevertheless be admitted as exceptions to the rule under Rule 803 of the FRE, regardless of whether the declarant is available as a witness. In United States v. Boyce, the Seventh Circuit considered whether two of these exceptions, known as the present sense impression exception and excited utterance exception, applied in a criminal case against a convicted felon. On March 27, 2010, following a physical altercation, Sarah Portis called the police on Darnell Boyce, her child's father. The altercation occurred inside Portis's house. During the 911 call, Portis repeatedly stated that Boyce had a gun. Portis then gave a description of what Boyce was wearing and told the operator that she ran to her neighbor's house and didn't know whether Boyce had left the house yet. Officers responded to the call and, after determining Boyce wasn't in the house, interviewed Portis. Afterward, they went to their car to complete a case report. While sitting in their car, the officers saw Boyce returning to Portis's house. After an officer asked Boyce to come over, Boyce began to run and a foot pursuit ensued. During the chase, an officer saw Boyce toss a gun into a neighboring yard. After police finally detained him, they found three bullets in his pocket. They also retrieved the gun that was tossed. Subsequently, Boyce was charged in federal district court with illegal possession of a firearm by a felon. At trial, Portis didn't testify. The government then sought to admit into evidence, under the excited utterance and present sense impression exceptions to the hearsay rule, Portis's 911 call. The court admitted the evidence, and the jury found Boyce guilty. Boyce appealed to the Seventh Circuit, arguing that Portis's statements in the call were inadmissible hearsay.